Welcome back to Great Old One Gaming with Cthulhu, and today we're driving the T20 again, and we're on the Pilsen map, and we are in a mixed match tier 8, tier 7. So let's see, I like to go into the field because I'm a pretty mobile on a medium, punchy gun, decent camo, decent mobility. And see if I can help take out some TDs or mediums or what I can do over there. Let's go. Got the standard set up. Oh, look at the Canadian camo. Oh, Canada, your beavers are so large. Actually, that guy comes in real handy later. So this is an encounter battle, so the cap is in the middle between both teams. There's only one cap. And the T-54 Mod 1 decides he wants to apply some pressure right off the bat. So, yeah, all right. I take a blind shot because a lot of times there's mediums, as you should see on our side, me and a comet. And I decided to ask, you know, what's our, what's our scouts doing? <laughs> I, I don't understand this. Scouts will then go and sit with the heavies. Well, they'll be the preferred food for the enemy heavies because they'll... Uh, they're easy to pen and, eat and good to kill. So I'm sitting here trying to go, eh, this guy's fairly safe. We don't have any artillery shooting him for some reason. He is kind of, he has no artillery covered. And our T-37 is doing a really good job. Mm, yeah, probably not a good idea to just sit here. Is that a Roomba? Oh, a Roomba. Okay, nice hit. All of a sudden, I was, what? I wasn't spotted. My commander's dead. My commander's hurt. I'm like, what the heck? Can you see that hit right at the base of the cupola? It just, like, hit a pixel. Ugh. All right, heal my commander. And must have gone right over the top of him. Well, all right. 54 mod one. Oh, there we go. Nope, don't reload fast enough. So, T type 64. That's a good tank to kill. Very punchy gun with APCR very good mobility and camo so they can get around and do things and be a surprise and I see this time the mod one's in the middle and he's gonna he's applying pressure to the t-34 100 so try to save him and I don't stupid shot Spotted, bounce an APCR around off the front of him, and then he just drives on and says, Yeah, take my butt. So I do. Back to AP. And that guy just skadooshes the Type 64. So at this point, I'm just going, um, Well, the 54 Mod 1 is uncontested in the middle between us and the artillery so and it looks like he's yeah he's moved over to shoot up the heavies from behind that's no good can't just let him do that let me figure this out see him 
I don't know what the hell he's doing. But I snap a shot. Obviously, it wasn't even halfway loaded. Got a shot in the back of his turret. Okay. Hmm, stupid pillars. Yeah, I'm not really good about driving around pillars. So I'm trying to figure out where that panther is. He's back around the corner, so I can't really do anything to him. Oh, there's the mod one again. Oh, the Rudy. I should f oh hit the pillar. I uh, got a nice shot, and then I just kind of went. Nah, I think I'll shoot some debris. Ugh. But I did not get hit by Artie, which was nice. So I was just reacting to the Rudy when the thing. And this guy just goes, yeah, shoot my side. Heal my driver. I'm using APCR because i got to fight the front of a um, T-54 Mod 1, which is hard for this 90 mil gun. And uh, right through the upper corner of the turret. Panther's gun. 54 Mod 1 looks like he's, had a, he's panicking. He's going for the Comet. And gives me his butt again. So now I'm like, well, we were in danger, and now suddenly you see the E25? I'm rolling around for him. When our tank destroyer kills him. So now I say the Roomba, well, I say nice shot, but I can't type very well in the, in the heat of battle. So I go, the Roomba was in the field. That's what I'm going to remind these guys of. So we move off to take care of that. Ooh, and a double arty strike over there by the S-51. That was interesting. And the Comet and Rubo show up together. That's nice of them to stick together, but now we know where both of them are. So I'm like, okay, I don't want to be in front of the gun of the Ruma. Um, but Artie says nope. And the Comet now is out of friends. Being conscious of Artie. I was backing up because they did shoot at me before. So now all of a sudden we went from in trouble to killing a bunch of tanks to just already left. So now I'm just kind of just making sure I weave a little bit in case Artie's seen me. Because Artie's like that. Oh, me and that pillars. So I see him popping the minimap. I'm like, where the hell is he? Oh, Jesus, he's... And he's aiming at the, at the uh, tank destroyer. Kama takes care of him. I'm trying to decide who to go help. I see that the comma's full health and the and the TD's not, so I go to help cover him in case the next tank uh, H uh, artillery is up on top of that hill. And it's not. So off I go. Let's see if I can get another shot into the arty. Let's go, 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 go. I'm thinking maybe the Artie will drive up this gap. And I don't want to get shotgun. Oh, but the shitter freaking drowns himself. What a loser. Yeah, I hate Artie that drowned himself. So, all right. Let me show you some end plates here. Oh, not bad. Good amount of damage. First class mastery badge. Made, made 27,000 credits. Came in second our experience and damage. Let's see. And there you go. Got some got some credits. Alright then, thank you for coming and stopping by Great Old One Gaming and watching me play some World of Tanks.
guys have a great day and good night.